Hey, what the hell is this, hey, Captain Bosch? Show this. Hey. <laughs> Show this. Oh. OS Gemini. And this. Hey, this is something. And this. Hey. And this description. Look at this, hey. FT160. First, I will salute all subscribers and viewers. Today, we're going to. This will be. Uh, a run. I have gotten this engine from an awesome guy for tuning from Stuart Warren. Salute him quick. He Stuart Warren, he works on Motion RC. He now. works on Motion RC and he knows everything about planes, but when it comes to clock engines, he knows how to tune basic stuff. But when it comes to the fine tuning, he has decided to send me this engine and I will. I have already tuned it for him. But meanwhile, he has decided he's going to convert this, and we're going to show you later on what I will try to do. But first, let me talk about this engine. He bought this engine in auction in Netherlands. It was slightly used, but not much. I I, I have seen through the whole uh, where the glow plug goes, and it is almost brand new. And the only thing that I did was I have set the valves. It looks pretty good. Like I do, and now you will see. I will film it from here a little because hey, hey. Yes. Hey, this is and now you just you just stand Does he have the plane for this already? Or what? Yes, he has uh, he has got I I think he has set the biplane. Oh that will be something else. Biplane and he will put this on. Now stand there and I will try. I will prime the engine. Oh, first. Of course I will be here, eh? Prime the engine. I'll show you. This is cold spot with my brand new meter. Look at this 17 degrees Celsius, which means this is stone cold. I will put Fahrenheit, which is a lot easier. 64 degrees Fahrenheit are both. So this will be cold start. Well, I can't wait to hear this, eh? Because I didn't hear it by now. I was, I had really hard time tuning this. I don't know why, but I have got an, an ASP FT160, and it was a lot easier to tune. But I, I did tune it, and it works. And you now you will see. Well, we all know, Captain Blush, that you will do it, eh? Yes. And afterwards, as I said, we'll be converting this to, to gas. And I will show you what it comes in the. Yeah, but you said that you won't tell what you will do, eh? Yeah, but hey, you have revealed it all, eh? Yeah, but they will see it anyway. There's no secret here now anymore. No, eh? no. <laughs> secret is in vain. Yeah, of course, eh? Yes. Now, look this. This oh. is be beeping. This is on green, so all systems go. Hey. This is amazing, Dave. This is amazing, 
<laughs> hey, but the sound, hey, the sound is so good. It works perfectly. Hey, oh, I can imagine already Stewart with this, with his bike playing at full speed, low pass. Now, now that will be again. something, hey. 35 degrees Celsius. Is this right? Uh huh, 60. Uh huh, 50. 30, it varies on which side you put, 40, yeah, 40, 44, 44, oh yeah, like this, yes, 42, 40. Well, pretty good, yeah, hey. pretty good. This is not totally accurate, and but as I, said, I don't would, think so. We will prefer this to, uh, to gas, but just for a sneak peek, because just, I will show you that this is also cold start. 15 degrees Celsius, exhaust 14 degrees Celsius. Now this looks pretty familiar to me. This is Roto 25cc two stroke made in Czech Republic. Where did you get this? Eh? I found it in your closet. <laughs> now look at this. But hey, I didn't hear it yet by Ignition now. Ignition is live. Oh. Choke. Stand back. Now, when it starts, you just unchoke it and get a, a, a few kicks. The sound is so good for the petrol engine, eh? Yes, it's got the pits exhaust. Hey, but this is it, eh? Show this. Hey, I can't writing. wait to see this on some plane, hey? Yeah, I hope one day it will be on, yes. And now I will show you this from here. Hey, should I open the door a little or what? Show that one. Oh, hey, this is like heaven for engine lovers here, eh? Yeah, we will very quickly. This is this is the conversion kit from the UK, <coughs> uh, and you will see what you get inside. Well, this will be the first for me. I will I will take my time. I will take a few days because I don't I don't want to rush it and do something stupid. And no, uh huh. This is a beeper. When you when you're setting the top dead center it beeps instead of so you don't you, you don't see the spark but this light and we'll beetle goes on yeah, yes yeah. and this is the the piston stopper with this you you set the piston at top dead center and it stays uh, on the spot and, and and this is the the angle meter yeah, so you know it's pretty amazing what you get in this conversion you kit. put Look this this, you put this on the on on the prop shaft and it just uh, i will explain this well, we will film we'll that, of course, yes. sorry. It's from Morris Mini Motors. Oh, Morris Mini Motors. Now look at this. This is, the, this is the kit which goes on in front. This is the magnet, the sensor, which you put uh, on. This is, this, this, is the, the, this is the magnet size. And when it... Uh, crosses the, the the sensor it makes a spark so yeah this is, it. this is the CDI unit oh yes. you got the sticker say yes oh and the spark and this is the the quarter spark, by look, look quarter this. by 32 and look how small this is yes it is the size the threads are the size of the glow plug but it, it looks like a normal plug. So this will fit perfectly in the engine. This is this is made for this engine. Yes. Hey, I know the steward will be so happy. Hey, and this, this is, is the dual RXL automatic advanced angle ignition for gas engines. It operates 
from 6 volts to 14.4 volts. So you can put 3S here on. These are the components. And I think I'll be, I'll be checking. I think that there is also in this set a carp. I think, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, there is something. Look at this. You know it all, eh? Yes. Oh, so you must and change the carp the... also. What? Yes. You change this. It says here for FT160. It can and also. This is exactly for this or what? Yes, it and it, it can also fit an ASP or a Magnum because the ASP and Magnum are direct copy of this engine. So I think this would also fit. And this will go on. You see here. Here go the inlets, and here, let me just show you quickly, come here, you see, you see this inlet here, this is the inlet which goes in here, and this is the, the how do you say, the bracket which you unbolt ah. underneath, it goes here, and this two goes in this hole, will fit perfectly. and this is the, the inlet, and I think this hey, is also. And now we will have the video of the nitro run on the glow fuel and on the petrol. Hey, hey, this, this is the something. this is whole conversion kit which you can get on Morris Mini Motors. That is all. Uh, you can check it here, and you can find here anything you want. Show it again so they can check it. Check it on internet, and you can look at this. MorrisMiniMotors.com. Eh? Yes, from UK. This is it, and eh? he's a very good guy. And this is, I think, it. I don't want to throw anything away. Well, you will check that again, Captain Blosh, just yes. in case. I'll check that again. But in this kit is anything included that you need to convert this engine. And now I'm really anxious to see. Hey, I can see in your is. eyes eh, that you can't wait to do this. Eh? The mm -hmm. only tricky part will be to time the engine right. But anything is possible if you take your time and if you know what you're doing. Oh, hey, even if you have to try it 10,000 times, Captain Blanc. I will do it, and I will do it this, this week. And because, we will film that. Because, because I'm lucky that my wife is working uh, morning shift, so she is at home, so I don't have to babysit. That's it. This is it? Oh, yeah, show this. Some, some guy was asking me. Of course. I'll show it like, once again. Tell about this, eh? I have made this myself. This is uh, this I bought on eBay. This is an amp meter, voltmeter. This is also voltmeter. It has got two outputs, 15 volts, and this I, I can run two chargers at the same time. And this is perfect. For anyone who doesn't have this charger yet, this is just unbelievable charger. It's worth every penny. Hey, but this is amazing. Hey, your workshop, a. Hey. I would love to have a workshop like this, eh? Yeah, well. One day. Hmm? Yes, one day. Who knows? Hey, you're so happy in here, eh? Yes. Huh, Captain Blush? Your little paradise when you can relax yes. and just have fun, eh? Yes, and that's so it. So this is it. What yes. to tell at the end? Expect... Well, a few words. <coughs> expect something very... This will be the first for me, so excuse me if I don't do it right, um, the right way, right away. But I will... Exp when I will do the conversion, we will also film... Uh, how I s how have I set the timing, which is the most important thing. Well, I know that once you will start, uh, you wouldn't be able to stop with this conversion, say. Mm. And, and, and I'm saying to you that this weekend I will run this engine. Well, Captain Blush, we're holding you by your word, say. Yes. And now, do you know what you have to do? Yes, open the door. Open the door, because, hey, <laughs> this is getting sick hey, here, hey. Viewers, Stuart uh, Warren, thank you for this opportunity to make this happen and I will enjoy every second of it. So this is it. No, Yours, this is we love you all. Thanks. Thanks for the support, for all yes. your comments, for your subscriptions and for sharing and spreading the passion. Not just for the planes, but for the engines, say. Eh? Yes. Because we really want that the engines will survive and not all the planes will be electric, eh? Yes. Because there is no better thrill than to hear the plane with the motor Flying on the low pass on your runway. No, I just just cut. Did I say it good? Cut. Yes, Will you cut or should I cut it? No, just cut. <laughs>